Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. People refer to a place that is truly livable and happy as heaven. In the book of Revelation, it is promised that, in the kingdom that the Lord has prepared, there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. When we pray, Jesus teaches us to pray that we have the spirit of children, and that our lives will be like this heavenly life. He teaches us to pray in faith that a kingdom where tears, the shadow of death, mourning, and weeping are resolved, will be the life of those who pray. When he tells us to pray for such a kingdom, it is because he is more eager to give it to us than we are to desire it. He tells us to ask for what he can give, what he is already providing. What place in our lives today needs to be the kingdom of God? Let's make it a day of prayer that our homes, our lives, and our churches become the kingdom of God. The Lord not only teaches us to pray, but he is the one who makes it happen. Dear Lord, we pray that you will teach us today to make every area of our life the kingdom of God, in Jesus' name. Amen.